Hey, how you doing? Hey, this is Admin from PlexCat. So here we're going to go talk about the PG Blitz. Sorry, it's been a long day. So uh, as of right now with 7.37, we've been working to rewrite PG Blitz from the 7.2 and below, which was all done in Ansible. And so now it's like a lot of code and some Ansible. And the reason for it is it provides better control, backups, and restores of keys. So right now, I'm going to go ahead and just type PlexCat and start off the program. And I'm going to basically deploy this as though um, I've never configured this before. So I'm going to go to PG Blitz. And right here, I'm presented with a new menu that some of you may have never seen. So it's going to talk about configure our clone, exit, and then key restore. I may change this menu up a little bit and some of the wording, but when you watch this video, it'll be the same thing. If you have keys prior on a server, Basically, all you have to do is pick key restore. And um, as long as you configure G drive, so you at least need to go in here and configure G drive. That's all you need to do. But if you configure G drive, it will go onto the server. It'll pull a list of prior servers with keys that you had deployed and it brings it all back. And then all you have to do is deploy PG blitz and you're good to go. You don't have to go through the painful process of um, executing, you know, you have to log in, you have to create more service keys and everything. So made that option a little bit easy. But this video right here is just to demonstrate how you would go about installing it. There will be a separate one probably for the key restore. So I'm going to go ahead and configure our clone. So you're going to be presented with this uh, interface right here. So we're going to make two remotes, the G drive and we're going to make the T drive. So make sure that they're all lowercase and, you know, just kind of follow the wiki too. So new, so name uh, is going to be G drive. And then I'm going to go ahead and type drive. That's all you need to type in there. And then client ID. Um, this should be in another video, but the key thing here is just that once you create your uh, API key, you just go ahead and plug it in. If you don't want to, you can just go ahead, hit enter and then enter for the next one. But if you do understand your drive is going to be operating at a 10 to 25% capacity, because what happens is you're using our clones, default keys and API key and client ID and all that stuff. So, um, because they're rate limited, it means that everything is going to be slow, including scanning. So if you're coming to the form, you're like, Hey, everything's slow. Everything's scanning slow. It's kind of the reason. So I either didn't read the wiki or, or didn't see this video, but just kind of give you that fair warning. So, um, you just go ahead, enter, 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 no. And then, and again, and what it will do is it will present you with, um, a list of logins right here. So you're going to take this and you're going to go ahead and log into your account. And I'm going to go ahead and log in. So please stand by. I'm going to go ahead and pause this video. Okay. Welcome back. I know that was an extremely long wait. So I went ahead and got my key that's produced right here. Paste it in and then press enter. Configures a team drive. No, not for G drive. Just double check in here. So sometimes I have it. Um, yeah. So G drive. So no for the G drive. And then yes, that is okay. And then what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and create one for your T drive. So we're going to go to new again, and then I'm going to type T drive. And it's pretty much the same exact process, except at the end, you just enter um, that it is a team drive. So paste and then paste again, hit enter. And then I'm going to go ahead and enter enter, enter, no, and then no, <clears throat> and then go ahead and copy. And I'm going to do the same thing here. So I'm going to pause this video. Okay. Thanks for the wait again. So I'm going to go ahead and paste, enter, configure as a team drive. Yes. So what happens is these will be your different team drives here. So I'm going to go ahead and pick uh, media. And then yes, this is okay. And there we go. So once we have these two created, we should be able to exit and then we should see the full regular menu. So here's the full regular menu. Um, and a purpose that it kind of like hiding it was just to make sure that you were good to go. Okay. So we're going to go ahead now and we're going to do uh, the key management. And then here's the, uh, project and the login account. So I'm going to go ahead and then right now, cause I have zero keys. I'm gonna go ahead and say, make service keys. 
and then it's going to ask me uh, how many keys do I want to create. Realistically, most likely you're probably going to create like six, probably. So because realistically, you're only going to upload so much data per day. But I put these higher limits here just to kind of entertain you in case you have some kind of powerful server or to kind of future proof this a little bit. But uh, for most people, option three is usually the best. But again, there's nothing wrong with creating more. So right now it's going to go ahead and create six service keys. And if you use PG Blitz prior, you remember how it deleted all your keys and then you, yeah, it doesn't do that no more. It never deletes your keys. So after you make these keys and you do a backup in the future, you can do the restore and you're good to go. You don't have to revalidate the emails all over again. The only time that you ever have to remake these key, like to make more keys and revalidate the emails is if you pick this kamikaze option here, uh, letter alpha and you decide to destroy all your service accounts. If you do that, then yes. I just put this here in case you just felt like you had too many service accounts and just need to reduce them. But if you do that, remember, you got to do the whole process all over again. So we got our service keys. So we're going to go ahead and exit. And so right now, we see how it says that there's six keys that exist. So you do have to do the email share generator. And then there's the six accounts right there. Make sure that the accounts that you're sharing this with is the actual team drive that it's associated with. So you could see here that this is the actual account. And if you looked at, paid attention to the letter, the letters earlier that were presented up there, this, uh, this matches right here. So I'm going to go ahead, hit add members. And then I'm going to do add names, paste, and then do skip sending notification, hit add. And then I'm going to do continue. And that's it right there. If you forget this step, it will warn you and it won't let you deploy. When you try to deploy PG Blitz, it'll say, hey, did you create your, did you share out the email? It's usually the biggest issue. So now we're gonna go ahead and deploy PG Blitz. And then, like I said, this is a demo, so knock on wood. Hopefully everything works. So I was creating a test directory and then it's checking for an existence. And then when it's good to go, it's good to go. And it's good as creating a directory anyways, because it's what you need. So the service is installed now. You need FS installs, all the good stuff that you need, right? And then after this, um, we're gonna go ahead and drop a dummy file in uh, Mount Move just to show the concept of it working. So it looks like everything success successfully executed. So Z, exit, and then exit, and then exit. And then we're gonna do touch, mount, move, uh, let me just go to mount move. I, I like doing that better. Mount move just to make sure. Uh, echo, um, beware, and then we're gonna put man bear, man bear pig is real txt lsla. We see it there. Pg log, and eventually this this command will change. See, okay, so it looks like it's moving into the GDSA folder. Good. And it's starting to upload. And it looks like the upload's complete. And let's do refresh. And there we go. So PG Blitz is good to go. So if you ever want to check on the status of uh, PG Blitz, you can type system CTL status. I mean, Pseudo system CTL, I'm root, so it wouldn't matter. Status uh, PG Blitz. And you can see that the service is active and you can see that it kind of copies portions of the log. So now we're gonna go ahead and check PG Blitz. Well, not PG Blitz, but G drive. So pseudo system CTL status G drive. And there we go. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. And you can do the same thing too also for union FS if you wanted to check. It will say exit it, so don't freak out. As long as you get the green, you're good to go. And then the last thing you can do is you can type SG drive. These are custom commands I made, you see right there. So status G drive, ST drive, it does the same thing. And then S union FS, see right there. So you can do the same thing. For some reason, if you wanna look at the file that's deployed without going crazy into it, I did N for nano. So again, these are just custom commands I did. So NG drive and you see it shows you what it looks like. So if you want to look at your file real quick, if you edit it, it's not going to do anything unless you redeploy the service. So unless you do a system CTL restart and then you got to do that uh, change, it won't do much. 
So same thing, and Union FS. So if you ever want to look at the configurations, maybe do troubleshoot, you can always do that. But other than that, that's pretty much it for uh, PG Blitz. And it's been fun working with it. And other than that, uh, yeah, if you could subscribe, uh, comment, uh, post on the forums. If you have issues, just please let us know. Um, again, this is a beautiful hobby project. <laughs> I say beautiful because it feels like a work of art. No, I'm just kidding. Anyways, it's, it's been great. So, um, but yeah, thanks, thanks for everything and uh, appreciate you uh, checking this video out and you have an awesome day. Thanks. Bye.